United in faith and love, we give thanks to our God on this 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our scriptures today remind us that God is with us at every moment. He is present even in the midst of our struggles and difficulties. Without, with outstretched arms, he invites us to come to him. Welcome everyone. We celebrate the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, 
and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. With and with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Almighty and ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were a curse and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred, according to the flesh. They are Israelites. There's the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them. Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. 
Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, this has been a weird week. We've had, we had four funerals. I had four funerals this week. Um, but there's something going on in all of that um, preparation and things. I had this crazy song going on in my head all week long. And maybe you remember it. Uh, you remember the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band? They had a song called Fishing in the Dark. Uh, Joe, can you... Nice, thank you, sir. I gotta tell you how good he is. I sprung that on him when I walked in here today and he listened to a recording of it for about five seconds and was able to do that. Amazing man. Point is, that's, that's a country song and with that tempo, you'd say, what's that? What's happening? What's going on here? It's a love song, believe it or not. You and me go fishing in the dark. What? But true. Today's gospel, actually, the reading from Kings and today's gospel talk about witnessing the divine in places we don't see it. That song is, <laughs> you wouldn't say it's a love song, but it is. We have to recognize what goes on. Now, Matthew actually takes a good share of what his gospel is today from Mark, except that he adds some things that are kind of important. You may understand that this story follows last week's story about the feeding of the 5,000. It's about understanding and recognizing divine. In Mark's gospel, the feeding of the 5,000 didn't register with the disciples as something important. They still didn't get it. Matthew takes that and embellishes it. It takes him, it, he recognizes Peter as spokesperson for the uh, people that are, are well, for, it's a spokesperson for the apostles particularly, but for all people in general. And he talks about faith. And it starts with, as a statement, you know, Jesus walks across the water, well, four and a half miles the width of, of Genesaret. And there were several miles, is what it says in Matthew's gospel. Uh, fourth watch of the night, that's between three and six in the morning. So they've been out all night long trying to get across this thing. But the point is that Jesus says, come, come, trust me. Recognize who I am. Recognize what it is that I offer you. Recognize the promise of kingdom. Recognize the promise of eternal love. And so Peter begins and then falters. Ah, the key to the whole thing. Recognizing and following through on that recognition is what we're all about. Love songs are love songs. Our way of life is a, a love song that probably doesn't sound like a love song either. Jesus calling to Peter and then saving him is a love song. Recognizing the divine where it happens is about love. Being able to do that means that we have to get outside of ourselves a little bit. Peter got to the very edge of it and then got scared. How often are we in that same position? Scared. Scared to go beyond what we know. Scared to go beyond what we understand. Scared to take 
the offer of love from our God for what it is. Today's gospel is very meaningful. It really, really is. Because it talks about us always recognizing the divine in what we do, what we see, what we experience. God is there. God is always there. We just have to recognize it. My friends, let us stand and profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My friends, trusting in God's loving concern for all people, let us offer our petitions to the Lord. For God's people, that even in the midst of life's darkest hours, we know that Jesus is with us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve in public office, that they will be effective in their efforts to eliminate poverty, crime, and homelessness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For missionaries who bring the gospel to foreign lands, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of St. Mary's Parish, especially for our students preparing for a new academic year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, we turn to you in all of our needs. Continue to fill us with courage, faith, and strength as we face the challenges of our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy we have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. With your, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. Thanks be to God.
So 